of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, raise us up, we pray, to the author of our salvation, who is seated at your right hand so that when our Savior comes again in majesty, those who have given new birth in baptism may be clothed with blessed immortality. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One night, while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking, and do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack and harm you, for I have many people in this city. He settled there for a year and a half and taught the word of God among them. But when Gallio was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews rose up together against Paul and brought him to the tribunal, saying, this man is inducing people to worship God contrary to the law. When Paul was about to reply, Gallio spoke to the Jews. If it were a matter of some crime or malicious fraud, I should with reason hear the complaint of you Jews. But since it is a question of arguments over doctrine and titles and your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them away from the tribunal. They all seized Sosthenes, the synagogue official, and beat him in full view of the tribunal. But none of this was of concern to Gallio. Paul remained for quite some time, and after saying farewell to the brothers, he sailed for Syria, together with Priscilla and Aquila. At Sencre, he had shaved his head because he had taken a vow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, God is king of all the earth. God, God is, is king, king of, of all the earth. earth. All you peoples clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the most high, the awesome, is the great king over all the earth. God, God is, is king, king of, of all, all the earth. earth. He brings people under us, nations under our feet. He chooses for us our inheritance, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves. God, God is king, king of all the earth. earth. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy. The Lord, amid trumpet blasts, sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our king, sing praise. God, God is, is king, king of all, all the earth. earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ had to suffer and to rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of the joy that a child has been born into the world. So you also now are in anguish, but I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice and no one will take your joy away from you. 
On that day, you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. The words of the gospel, may our sins be wiped away. Jesus, at the time of his ascension to heaven yesterday for us, uh, he's, he's telling them, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be standing with you anymore. I'm going to return to my Father. And you will grieve, and you will miss me, and you will wonder what's to become of you. But I'll be with you more now than ever. Jesus in the body was only present with them in the body. When Jesus is ascended and his body and spirit in heaven, he is with us always until the end of time, as he has said. And we rejoice that he is always with us, always guides us, always lifts us up, and always works on bringing us home to his kingdom in heaven. He says, what you go through now is a great sorrow, but that sorrow will pass, and it will turn into something glorious, so that the sorrow is insignificant compared to the joy and the wonder and the glory of what is to come. Like when a mother is about to have a child, and she's fretting greatly over it, and, and even the, the, the actual labor is tremendously painful, or so I'm told. And, um, and yet, when the child is born and is in her arms and at home, even when they're getting up all, all hours of the day and night to, to run and uh, answer the baby when he's crying, he or she, it's still a joy, still a wonder, still a grace, still a package of love, of receiving and of giving love, that nothing compares to what, what led up to uh, the birthing of that child, the fact that that child is with them then, and the great gifts that God gives us the new life that God gives us here on earth and beyond here on earth. The great fullness of God, and the great fullness of humanity, what he has made us to be in him is glorious. And what we have suffered here on earth, especially those of us who try to be faithful to what God has told us, even when the world says, nah, that's old fashioned, that's ridiculous. You got to do what you want to do. Do only what you want to do. And we'll tell you what you want to do. That's the world's point of view. We'll tell you what it is you want to do. Well, let us try to depend on God. Let us, let him, let him show us the truth in what is right. Let us follow it with faith and reason. God gives us faith and reason. He helps us to understand why nothing he does, nothing he asks is um, uh, unthought of, is arbitrary. There's a reason behind everything that he calls us to. There's a reason behind everything that he has uh, led us in the church to do and to accept and to support and to follow. And that main reason beyond and before and beneath everything is love. Caring for one another, loving people, loving God. And frankly, you can't love God without loving people. It is a requirement that Jesus has told us that we need to reach out and help one another. We are responsible for acting, not just, not bothering with people, not just, oh, I never hurt anybody, but actively helping people, supporting people, lifting them up, give them assistance, joy, requirements of daily living, and forgiveness for whenever they mess up, because we are always coming to God and asking for him, his forgiveness when we mess up, and he says, I will forgive you. But you need to forgive others in the same way. 
Like if a mom gives her, do her daughter two cookies, she'll say, give one to your little brother. And she's, she's supposed to do that. We care for one another. That shows our love of God. And Jesus tells us, oh, how glorified you will be. And whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. That's why we end most of our prayers with, we ask this through Christ our Lord. We ask it through him. And we know that our Father, if it is a wise thing that we're asking for, it's something that he will give us and beyond that, or give it to us in a way that we don't recognize. You know, as if maybe a child is asking for a skateboard and he ends up getting a bicycle. He may not realize it was connected to the skateboard uh, question, but a bicycle is far better. Or give him a Lamborghini, you know. He may not recognize it's the answer to the same prayer. God does that with us so often. We'll ask for something Maybe relatively small. Oh, can I just have this? And God will give us something grand, something life saving, something that we can share with many and lift us all up. So let us not be afraid to ask God in the name of Jesus for the things that we feel are important. And let us not be afraid when God asks us to do something for someone else that it is important to God and that we should do it. And he will help us to do it every, every moment of what we do. He helps us to do it. We're like his kids in the business. And he loves to work with us. And we are honored that he allows us to do so. Let us rejoice. Let us live today in that new way. When we reach out to people, even if we don't really know them, if they need help, help them. They don't owe us. And let's offer them all up to God in his care and in his love. Trusting the Lord knows our grief and anguish, we present our needs to him. that the Lord may heal the wounds of his church and bring justice and healing to her members, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That the peace of Christ may overpower nations in conflict, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That God may relieve the suffering of all who struggle with disease or ill health, especially Mike Shower, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may experience eternal life with Christ in the glory of the resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. We also ask our Lord to bless Esperanza Vieira and the Furlong family. For Esperanza and the Furlong family, this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord, 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 Lord hear our prayer. Prayer. and for all the holy souls in purgatory. Let us pray to the Lord, 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 Lord hear our prayer. prayer. God of wonder and might, we bring these prayers before you. Hear and answer them, we ask, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, be God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and good, good of all his holy church. church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you in our in our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with, that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sin of the, the world, world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by this your most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Now please join in receiving communion by making a spiritual act of communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. past our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity.
Let us pray. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Remember that Pentecost is coming up not this Sunday, but the next, May 31st. Let us, with Christ sitting on the throne of God, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, let us open our hearts and our spirits to the coming of the Holy Spirit. Not just wait for Pentecost, but let every day be Pentecost. We who are baptized and have the Spirit living within us, let us build up to that great day of Pentecost because even though it's a day that happened long ago, it's still a great day. Not just a wonderful yay day, but a wonderful glorious day on heaven, in heaven and on earth every year. And watch for what the Holy Spirit does in your heart if you invite him and allow him to do so. Be prepared. Open your hearts as of now. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.